Hello everyone, welcome to week 3, unit 3. Today what I'm going to do is go over the new key reaches for lesson 7, 8, 9, and lesson number 10 is a review lesson, so you won't actually have any new keys in lesson number 10. So here are the exercises, and you know that you'll find these exercises under unit content, unit 3. Now as far as what we're going to be working in, in the GDP program itself, I'm going to be going over the new keys for lesson number 7 to begin with, the X, the P, and the tab. So the first new key is the X key. The X key you're going to be reaching down with your S finger. So it's X, X, X. Okay. The next new key is the P. The P you're going to be reaching up with your semicolon finger. P, P, P. Go ahead and practice that one a few times. And the last new key is the tab key. The tab key you're going to be reaching up with your A finger. So it's tab, tab, tab. And remember, you're going to reach up with your A finger. You're not going to take off your entire hand just to press the tab key. You want to learn the correct reach. Now to start out with, and what you're going to be using your tab key for is, you're going to have an exercise um, that begins at the bottom of page 25, and then the actual exercise is at the top of page 26, But so you can practice the tab key, but your first um, exercise that you're going to be doing as far as using the tab key to indent paragraphs will be the timed writing at the bottom of page 26G. Okay. Now the next new uh, lesson, before I forget, remember about the uh, enrichment lessons that I've mentioned to make sure that you go back and you practice the enrichment lessons, practice any previous lessons before you move on to the new one. So we have a lesson seven enrichment and I'd strongly advise you to do that. Now we have lesson number eight. Lesson number eight, we're going to be learning the Q, the comma, and the G. To start out with the Q key, we're going to be reaching up with our A finger. Q, 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 Q. Okay, go ahead and practice that one a few times. And then we have the comma key. The comma, you're going to be reaching down with your K finger. So it's comma, comma, comma. Comma, go back to the K. Comma, go back to the K. Comma, go back to the K. And remember how I've already mentioned to you about saying the letters and spaces either out loud or to yourself. The last new key in Lesson 8 is the G key. The G key, you're going to be reaching to the right with your F finger. So it's G, G, G. G, go back to the F, G, G, G. Okay? Now you also have within the lesson itself additional practices to do. Um, you'll have sentences and then there's the one minute timed writing that I mentioned. As far as you know that we're our first time we use a tab key for the for the timings is lesson seven, but from that point on you'll use a tab key and you'll see it will be indented in your book. And then we have another enrichment, lesson eight. Lesson nine will be the last three letters of the alphabet. The V, the Y, and the Z. Okay? Let's go into the first one with the V. The V you're going to reach down with your F finger. V, V, V. V, go back to the F, V, 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 okay? The next one is the Y. The Y, you're going to be reaching up with your J finger. Y, Y, Y. Y, go back to the J, Y, Y, Y. Practice that one a few times. And then the last letter to complete the entire alphabet is the Z. The Z, you're going to reach down with your A finger. Z, Z, Z. Z, Z, Z. And notice how I keep going back to the home row so I can learn the reach. And then we're going to, again, we have our enrichment, lesson nine enrichment. And then we have our, our uh, second review lesson that we had as far as practicing. Uh, here's lesson number 10, the review. And notice how it's broken up from A to D, E to H, and so on. Okay, and then you have your lesson 10 enrichment. Now remember, it's very important that you keep your eyes on your copy as you key, you maintain good sitting position, 
you're concentrating, saying the letters and spaces either to yourself or out loud, and practicing daily. You know I always mention that to you in our tutorials. Practice each and every day and go back and practice the previous lessons so that will help you. Okay, and remember, practice, practice, practice. I hope you've enjoyed the recording and I hope all of you have a nice day. Thank you for listening. Bye.